The Vasco 30th Century came in the last test of the 1983 series. In the Madras test, when time came for India to bat, Gavaska decided to go low in the order and let someone else open the batting. Malcolm Marshall, seeing his chance, quickly reduced India to not for two. Going in at number four, Gavaska effectively ended up opening anyway. About 11 hours later, when India declared at 451 for eight, he was still there with 236. This was a superb display of concentration and endurance. Over the years, Gavaska has established many international batting records. His 236 in the tests at Madras was the highest ever by an Indian. He's the only batsman to score a thousand test runs in a calendar year four times. He has made the fastest thousand runs in tests in just 78 days from six tests. Three times Gavaska has hit centuries in each innings of a test. However, he does not hold the highest batting average in the world, which is held by none other than Sir Donald Bradman. He does not have the highest individual scoring test, that record of 365 runs made by me in Jamaica against Pakistan in 1958. 172 now for five. Shastri moves to 32. And Gavaskar on 99. Starting out in 1971 against the West Indies and amassing those 774 runs. 1 run short of his 30th test century.